Simon, and it's great to finally meet you. I hope you're ready, because the dinosaurs can't wait to meet you too. This bipedal predator is called the Acrocanthosaurus, and it is a dinosaur that has what I like to refer to as presence. When it's around, you know it. This animal should make for a killer exhibit. I mean, it being a killer and all. <laughs> This dinosaur is called a Carcharodontosaurus. Talk about a mouthful, right? And seeing that this animal is an alpha predator, its mouth is usually full of the slow, the weak, and the inattentive. <laughs> Hence the reason I'm not getting near it. You, on the other hand. This is Owen Grady. He's an animal behaviorist that specializes in training velociraptors. Which means that he's a little... What's the word I'm looking for? Determined? I say that with all respect, of course. <laughs> This entire operation started with a dream that was realized through science. For that, we can thank Dr. Henry Wu. She's a survivor, a result of her interactions with the dinosaurs and her headstrong nature. There isn't a more iconic dinosaur than the T-Rex. Even people who don't know the difference between herbivore and carnivore know all about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And when you see her up close, feel her gaze, you understand why the T-Rex was the ruler of the Cretaceous period. to keep guest count to the maximum and the body count to a minimum. Hmm? <laughs> George Lambert is the man tasked with that uh, task. Mr. Lambert? Dinosaur is impressive. The Spinosaurus is perhaps the largest of carnivores. Of course, I'll never get close enough to one to see for myself, but <laughs> that's why I have you. 